Polly Parrot Picks a Pirate by Peter Bentley and Penny Dan. Polly the Parrot was sick of her tree. Same old branches and leaves, same old nothing to say, same cheeky chimps with their same cheeky tricks. I'm fed up with living out here in the sticks. She squawked. It's a life on the ocean for me. I'll find a pet pirate and sail off to sea. I'll find one who's clever and dashing and brave, who's handsome and clean and who won't misbehave. So off fluttered Polly that very same day to the inn by the harbour at Buccaneer Bay. There sat the pirates with all of their crews. Now, wondered Polly, which one shall I choose? Bartholomew Blood appeared smart at first sight. But sadly for Polly, he wasn't too bright. I can't find my treasure, he said with a frown. You know it all, squawked Polly. Your map's upside down. Oh dear, Polly sighed. But I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a much cleverer pet. Phineas Mud seemed a fine fearless sort, but was really the clumsiest pirate in port. He swung from the rigging with daring and dash, then slipped on a barrel. And crash, and splash. Oh dear, Polly sighed. But I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a less bumbling pet. Crazy Kit Cutlass looked fearsome and brave, till he ran with a screech from the smuggler's cave. As Crazy Kit trembled in terror beside her, Polly peeped in and discovered a spider. Oh dear, Polly sighed. But I won't give up yet. I'm sure I can find a less cowardly pet. She searched the whole harbour. She flew all around. But the perfect pet pirate just couldn't be found. Gentleman Ned was too fond of his clothes. Two toothed Trelawney kept picking his nose. Mad Dog Domingo wore stockings that stank, and Jack Salamander kept walking the plank. Sighed Polly, I can't find the pirate from me, so it looks like I'll have to go back to my tree. She was just heading home when she heard a man say, There's a big pirate battle in Buccaneer Bay. Redbeard is fighting with old Big Leg Beat. They're the very best pirates in all of the fleet. At last, Polly thought as she turned for the sea. They sound like the perfect pet pirates for me. Smash went the pirates and wallop and crunch. They fought all day long with a short break for lunch. Surrender, cried Peg Leg. But Redbeard roared, Never! Surrender yourself, I'm the best pirate ever! Redbeard and Pegleg were in a right strop. They battled and bashed until Polly squawked, Stop! The way this is going, there won't be a winner, except for the sharks who'll have pirates for dinner. Why don't you stop fighting and simply agree that you're both the best pirates who sail on the sea? Then Polly looked closely and saw a strange thing. That massive red beard, was it tied on with string? She tugged at the beard and it fell in the sea. Great galleons, gasped Pegleg. Old red beard's a... She! Do you know, chuckled red beard, this parrot is right. There's really no need to continue our fight. Why don't we join forces, said Pegleg. With pleasure. Double the pirates means... Double the treasure. Pegleg and Redbeard were married that night. They danced round the mast and forgot their old fight.
Hooray! Polly cried. Well, that's fabulous too. I wanted a pirate and now I've got two. They're clever and dashing and fearless and brave. But I might have to check that they don't misbehave. So with her new pets, Polly sailed off to sea. And she thought, it's a life on the ocean for me. As she turned to her tree for one last farewell glimpse, she laughed. Now I'm finally free of those chimps. Ha! The end.